What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere, and welcome back to another episode of Zero to Hero. In this episode, we are going to be going back into Factorio, and my goal for this uh, episode is going to be finishing our green circuit production and then start on our mall or our production hub. And then if we have time, get started on automating our uh, science, red and green science. And then, yeah, we'll just kind of see where it takes us. So in the last episode, we finished up our first initial smelting columns for both iron plates and copper plates. And for the time being, just one each is going to be sufficient enough until we get things rolling. Uh, one thing, let's go ahead and grab some iron plates because while I'm planning everything out and showing you guys how to build um, the green circuit array, I want to make sure that our research is headed in the right direction. And I think we need some more inserters in order to help us. So let's grab this and then start making these yellow inserters. And then do we have, oh, we need copper plate to make, actually no, we don't, let's not make the, the green inserters yet. Or not the green inserters, the green circuits. And just go straight here, add whatever inserters that we have. Let's add half of these here and half of these here. I think that should be, enough i don't actually i don't think it is and we need some more we're gonna put in 10 on this side let's just wait till it finishes out real quick three two one boom okay there and there and that's actually exactly 120 which if i'm not mistaken is what's needed yeah 120 it's what's needed to make these power poles all right so as that's chugging along let's make sure we got enough resources here yeah yeah okay we're good so like i said as that's chugging along we are going to be creating did i put stuff into the belt maker yes i did okay that's let's go uh, actually let's go and uh take some of these while we go down there we go okay so what I want to do in this playthrough is try to build as many things as I can by hand in order to show you guys my process in building um, and use blueprints very sparingly. Blueprints can be extremely useful, don't get me wrong, but it's just something that if you know how to build it by hand, using a blueprint would be that much easier. You know, if you know how to build it by hand, then you know how the actual mechanic of it works. And I think that's a lot more educational in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and extend this. And my thinking for the green, um, the green circuits is going to be, you know, right, right around here, kind of going this way, where right at the edge of, of this, um, of this joining for the main, for the beginning of the main bus. I don't wanna waste any, any room. So all of these lines right here are going to be iron. And then, so what we're gonna do is this build is very uh, in heavy inspiration. Is that the word? No, influenced, heavily influenced by Catherine of Skye's build. Actually, it might be exactly the same, but I mean, if it ain't broke, why, why fix it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out three um, three rows for copper. Honestly, we we're only gonna need one. And then I want a little bit more room here. That looks like it's enough room, okay. And we're gonna lay out three um, assemblers here. And these are all going to be making the, um, the coils. Copper cable, I mean, not coils. They look like coils. But they should change the name to coils, in my opinion. Um, okay, and then these two are going to be making the electric circuits. So, 
Uh, we are going to prefer using fast inserters. We're gonna be having this guy here, this guy here. Whoops, come on. This guy here. There we go. There we go. And then, so this exact, uh, what is this? Copper cables is gonna be only feeding into this machine. This one on the right is only gonna be feeding into this machine. And then this middle one is going to be splitting between the two. If we look at the ratio or at the recipe, it produces four copper cable or two copper cables every half second. So that's four copper cables every second. And if we multiply that by three, that's um, 12 copper cables every second. If we look at the recipe for the electric circuit, it consumes three copper cables every half second. So every, so every one second, it'll consume six copper cables. That's why we have two machines. So in total, 12 copper cables are being produced by the three machines and 12 are being consumed by the two machines. So that's why this um, ratio is actually perfect. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna have an output on the inside, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, like so. And then we're gonna have an input. Uh, we need some, we need some copper. So let's just grab it off the belt while it's here. Make some more fast inserters. And then since we wanna have, at the, at the end where we wanna have uh, four iron belts, four copper belts, and then four green circuit belts. So these four belts right here are going to be the green circuits. And then this belt is going to be the um, coal and the other four materials that are gonna be coming up here. So we also need splitter, one, two, three, four. And let's finish out the blue inserters. We're gonna need iron here because these green inserters require iron plate. Uh, so we're gonna need, this build is just has two rows in it. You don't really need it at the very beginning. And then to match our output, we're gonna have four rows of the green circuits going out this way. And then the good thing about this build is that it can mirror. So we want the same thing on the other side. So, but what we can do is we can take this and turn it around. Now, I don't think the power poles are gonna match up exactly. Let's double check this. Oh yeah, they will. Okay, no, we're good. Um, and then I place a power pole. Let's see, I place one here. And they don't reach, so I want to, hmm. The power poles aren't gonna be, aren't gonna be nice to us. So what we wanna do, let's try to make a way to make this nice grid, grid-like and even. Um, I'm gonna do this and then what I'm gonna do, it's completely OCD and you don't need to do it, but um, you can take a copper cable and actually delete uh, copper cable lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the ones that are non-aesthetically pleasing to my eye. Obviously you don't have to do any of this if you don't want to. Um, delete this one that goes across and then I want to join this one. And the thing which is actually new in one of the most recent patches is when you copy and paste uh, blueprints that include power poles, in the past it wouldn't copy, it would copy the power poles but it wouldn't paste the way that the copper cables were aligned. So if you pasted a blueprint that looked like this, and you place on the power poles, all the cables would kind of conjoin and wouldn't go exactly as you'd like. Now, however, 
they added a feature to where if you copy and paste um, a build, it'll also transfer how the power poles are arranged or how the copper cables are arranged uh, within that blueprint once the power poles get put down. Um, so actually, we can double it here. Just kind of extend this. There we go. And I really don't copy that. Let's X this. I don't like these. I don't like these. I'd rather have one in the middle. Oh, that's so much better. It's one in the middle like that. Isn't that better? I think that's cleaner. Um, and then kind of extend this. And then we will copy and paste. Whoops. And then you can just kind of control control V to undo as well. Why is this? I don't like I don't like these crossing ones. So let's go bring it down a little bit more like this. So that the ones in the back don't don't register. This is completely nitpick nitpicking. I'm sorry. It's just little little OCD thing that I like. There. Nice and nice and clean and uniform. Um, okay, and then what I like to do at the very end or the last row is I like to make a splitter here to make sure it all comes out evenly. Or not a splitter, uh, a balancer. And then actually while we're here, let's go ahead and bring all the power up so that it can power this as we're building. follow this up and now these facilities or these assemblers should be powering up fantastic so okay the first belt that we will bring over is the copper whoops we need some more copper to make um, to make these splitters it's needed here there we go. So that's making them as well. Let's add this belt over here. And now how we will do this is we will split off portions of the copper belt. So let's go ahead, delete this part, line this up, and then we will split off a portion here and prioritize output to the right what we will do is we'll, we will use underground belts to go underneath the copper lines and then another set of underground belts to keep the iron moving forward to bypass this thing. All right, now if we keep going down, we'll fill out this belt and then let's con uh, shift right click and then shift click to copy the right output to the rest of the splitters and now it'll prioritize bringing everything out to the right and now it's bringing in the copper plate and producing all the green circuits and now we have a ton of green circuits it's lovely i love it we will need a lot more splitters because we will be doing this a lot more um now let's bring in the iron line the iron line is going to behave the same exact way so we're going to bring this row of splitters all the way up to the edge of the iron, branch off, and then also output priority to the right, shift right click, drag it out. And then yeah, there we go. Now we got our iron plate in. Uh, let's go ahead and finish our balancer at the very edge here. Sides, turn these guys in, forward. go two more perfect all right now what we will do here is bring out all these lines out to the their version of the main bus
Oh, we ran out. One more time, and then we can bring him out here. Okay, now we can drag this down. And I'm wasting a lot more belts than I really need to. Um, that's why I ran out. <laughs> okay, let's go back up, get some more belts. Our factory should have finished producing it. And then that's our, that's our green circuit factory or production, production line. Um, that's really all that we'll need for now. We don't need much more than that. There, 500 belts, that's perfect. Go ahead, add more. Should be good to go. What are we missing? Oh. Let's take some from there, put it in here. Research right now is more important. Go back down. And then we, we will uh, finish out our, uh, the mirrored side. So we'll finish out this side down here and then we'll move on to starting the mall, which is exciting. Okay, so let's go ahead and mirror this, which I forgot to do. Uh, just kind of drag it out. Some more assemblers. Ah, missing iron plate or iron plate to make fast inserters. Let's make more of these. Actually, let's just make all of them because we will need more. While we're waiting for those, we can bring in some more iron. And like we said before, uh, we're going to be removing one line of iron plate after or for this uh, green circuit array. So let's go ahead, cross these guys. So we still want to prioritize to the right in order to funnel resources, but we don't need to branch off one extra off. We can just start from here and then branch this guy off and then delete this line. So now we got one less line. And then we can shift left click again because it's already saved the copy from up here. And then now we got five belts instead of six of the um, of the iron plate. Oh shoot. Dang it. <laughs> I brought it to the wrong side. I brought it here instead. Ah, oh, dang. All right, that was dumb. You guys didn't see that, okay. Oh man. Oh, I hate this, I hate this. Hmm, I'm not happy with myself. That was a rookie move. Okay, so it's gonna be a little tricky working with these underground belts. So let's go ahead and get the hard part out of the way first, which is the prioritizer. Right click down, prioritize out. There we go. Now we got five lanes coming down. Let's fill those out. Okay, now let's work around this. So this belt here Actually, no, before we do that, let's get this prioritized lane out first. Um, it will need to go underground by one here. Is that right? Yes, it is, okay. And then we will prioritize, how many lanes do I have here? Four, yes. Oh no, actually. I did that priority lane wrong. I need to, one more. And that starts back there. Whoops. Let's go ahead and pick up some green circuits to use for handcrafting. Let's 
do another line, turn to the right, and then go underneath here, and then keep the iron plate moving. Whoops, one got free. Um, prioritize again. And now we got Did I do something wrong? I feel like I did something wrong. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> I keep on doing things wrong. Um, it's okay. That's how Factorio works. So in order to have two spaces in between iron plate and, um, and copper plate, I want to end this line first, which is like this rightmost line instead of ending this line. So what I want to do is actually, let's go ahead and delete this here. I do want to make it keep going and then I'll just delete this line. Piling up on iron plate, which is great. Copy and paste that. Now, I think that's right. <laughs> Who knows? At this rate, I might be might be wrong again. Um, no, let's finish out this copper plate. Four lines. Four lines of the green circuits. Okay. Now we can bring this lane out. Okay. So this is going to go one, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and delete this square. bring it out here and then we'll bring it up under the copper plates now this one is going to go one two three four is going to come out here so I want to delete that one again and move this one back there you go now we got two lines going out now here one two three four again so let's go ahead and push that one back. Same thing there. Now I think this one we're going to have to bring here. Yes. Then we'll need a copper lane to go out or to go underneath. Whoops. And then the final green line will go underneath three of the copper lines. A little bit of spaghetti, but it's nice and compact. And if we did everything right, which this time I'm pretty confident, everything should be good to go. And we should get no uh, polluting or green circuits onto these lines. Perfect, like clockwork. Okay. Hey guys, Bedivere in the future here. Uh, this video is going a tad bit long, so I decided to split it up into two separate ones. This one obviously being a little bit shorter, focusing on green circuit production. The next video, however, is going to be a big one focusing on the creation of your mall or production hub, whichever term you'd like to use. In that video, I'm going to be laying the foundations and taking you guys step by step on how to create the mall from scratch, starting with belt production and inserter production, which are the two branches to start your mall. And I'll show you how to leave room to expand upon it later. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified when that new video comes out. I do stream every Thursday and Sunday over at twitch.tv slash bedivere. I love to stream any kind of strategy game or I love to hang out with you guys. So if you do like the content, be sure to check me out over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.